Welcome to Specific Love. Have you ever been outside on the grill and well, you just don't have enough room on the sides, just things start piling up and just in the way? Well, I have a great way to fix that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a grill cart so you can have a bunch of room right next to your grill or anytime you're entertaining. Now this is the second edition doing some backyard upgrades and I'll put the link to the others in the description below so you make sure you check those out. Otherwise, let's begin. I first started by adding a temporary fence to my miter saw because most of these cuts are going to be repetitious. I then brought my son out to the workshop to give him a few lessons in building with this project. He learned how to use a long fence to set up stop blocks and to make cutting several identical boards easily. For this cart, we used two by fours for the frame. We needed six boards at 17 inches, four at 32 inches, and six at 39 and a half inches for this project. I helped support some of the long boards, but my son did most of the cutting. And I was very proud of him for his safety in the shop. Now to save a little time, I cut out all 27 of the 1x5 boards needed to create the shelves of this cart. But my son was very happy to assist in this endeavor. Next up was drilling pocket holes in several of the boards. And since my son was still there, I gave him the pleasure of doing the first few. But for time's sake, I quickly finished them up. I then used two of the 32 inch and two of the 39 and a half inch boards to create a rectangle, making sure to use type 3 wood glue at each joint for extra strength. I then started to add the middle shelf frame and realized it was an extremely tight fit and I had to unscrew one of the other boards to make it fit. After I built two of these outer frames, I added the cross boards at three points on each end. Now you might notice at this point that all of the 2x4s are turned so that the skinny edge is facing outward. This was done to make the cart look thinner and give added room for each shelf. My son then helped me position the other side and I glued and screwed it in place. Now usually I wait until everything is assembled before I go and stain it, but I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Now I have the main frame put together, but I still have all these boards here. I still got to do a bunch more sanding, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sanding and the staining before I put these remaining pieces on and see how that turns out. Now when I first started sanding, I did not realize how much was actually needed. I had planned on covering most of the discolorations with stain and just smoothing out the imperfections. But I quickly learned that I should have used some clamps in a few locations. So after some time, I finished up and used AR hose to prep the frame for staining. For the frame, I decided to use a gray stain. And while that dried, I went back to the shelf boards. I used a hand sander with 120 grit paper to help remove the splinters without concern with removing too much of the edge. Now on four of these boards, I had to cut a small notch to fit around the frame and a bandsaw made quick work of those. Normally if I was going to install these one bys I would use screws, but my wife insisted on using nails to give it more of a rustic look. And if you've heard that old phrase, happy wife, happy life, well then you know I'm going to be using nails. So let me drill some holes so I don't split these, and then I'm going to stain them up and we'll attach them. So I set up a fence and stop block system on my drill press to drill each of the boards in the same locations. Now each of the nails will look evenly spaced. For the stain color, I chose traditional cherry, which made this pine lumber look quite stunning. After it dried, I gave it a quick test fit and the color combo looked great. When designing this cart, I planned for the shelf boards to have a quarter inch spacing, but it came up a little bit shy. So I nailed down the outer boards and then had to eyeball the spacing for the rest. Now to keep from damaging the wood, I used a punch to help flush up the nails with the wood. Now for the top shelf, I was able to keep my original quarter inch spacing between the boards. To help this cart stay mobile, I added four lockable casters to the bottom of the frame, making sure to space them away from the pocket screws. I also had to be careful not to over drill the holes or this could have easily damaged the shelving. For a strong pull bar, I used some half inch black pipe and fittings. To hold them in place, I just used some exterior screws. And the ending result was quite nice. Now the next time I plan to use the grill, I know this cart will definitely come in handy. Now if you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments. I also have a couple other videos right over here you might want to check out that go along with the backyard upgrades. And as always, have fun building.